what's good everybody welcome back to the channel and before we get into the video man i would like to shout out my guy anonymous for once again blessing the podcast with the good old controversial company super ego content guys this is a good one i hope you guys stay to the end and check out what we have to talk about we also spoke on the young lady tajay woods on the email that Super Eagle sent her to request a collaboration with her. They over here saying that, you know, you're talking good about our company. We want to know how can we make our company better, yada, 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 you know, stuff like that. Lo and behold, guys, she just made a community post maybe about a couple of hours ago while I was driving and as soon as I shut down for the evening to put this podcast together for you guys to listen to, she responded to the email. I, I don't know what she, you know, said about it, but she said that Super Ego requests her to take down the video. Now that, to be honest with you, you know, I got requests all the time to take down some of the super ego content that we have on our channel, but we're not doing that. We're not doing that. You guys could go over there and check out her community posts and what she, you know, said in conjunction to them asking uh, her to take the, the, the video down, but she posted the, the request as follows super ego as we would like to use this opportunity to kindly ask you if you can remove your video from youtube while we respect your right to express your views it's important to consider the broader implications on our company's credibility as well as the lives of the individuals who are working for us which is the key point. We value your constructive feedback and encourage open dialogue to address concerns effectively. Listen here, Tajay. I don't know you personally, but I know you're subscribed to my channel and you said in your response uh, text that a whole lot of YouTubers have super ego content. Some of it is not good. As you can see on my channel, I, I have open dialogue with, with former Super Ego drivers, uh, a couple of current Super Ego drivers, and I, and I commentary on a lot of Super Ego content. Okay. I have been asked to, you know, take some of the content down. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. You want me to take it down? You pay me to take it down. That's what you do, Tajay. Because like you said in your, in, your, uh, in your post, you put a lot of time, effort, research, and paid money for the thumbnail. So if controversial company, Super Eagle, wants you to take the content down, give them a price. Hey, you, you want me to take it down? Fuck you, pay me. What's good, bro? Hey, what's going on, man? Man, sounds like you just now waking up. What's 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 up? Oh yeah, no, nah, I'm waiting on it to get uh, repaired. I gotta get this damn air conditioner uh, receiver dryer refixed. That shit went out, so I'm all chilling in Brunswick. Well, not, well, not Brunswick. I'm right outside of Brunswick, Georgia, Richmond Hill. Oh, okay, okay. That's what's yeah, up, man. Yeah. If, yeah, you, 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 you better because if you're coming up to Cleveland this week, man, it's, it's going to be a heat wave up here, bro. Hot. It's going to yeah, be. Yeah, I know. It's, it's going to be a heat up. wave. Yeah, this shit got to get fixed. Now it this is muggy down here, man. It's, this, this is your, this is your truck, right? Yo, this is your, your, your yeah, truck. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so how yeah, much? My shit, yeah. So how much is this coming out of your pocket? Like, how much you have to pay for? For a repair like this, uh, all together, I didn't. Well, once I finish with this, it'll be about twelve hundred bucks Damn. with the labor in it. It'll be twelve hundred. So how much of how yeah. much how much did that 
hit your profit like let's say for example you 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 did your lows this week you had like forty five hundred dollar profit so that expense is going to come out of that forty five hundred per se right yeah 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 every every penny of it she is every penny of it so does run from it so so does that mean on the next go around you you have to make up for that for that repair cost on the next couple of lows that you do yeah, and that's really kind of not gonna make up for it because I still gotta put two new drive, tires, two good drive tires on my truck. I got two old ones I gotta get off of there, so that's another. We we'll just say seven, eight hundred bucks. Woo. Yeah, Woo, the yeah. life, the life, the no life, joke, the life of an owner operator. I'm gonna try to tell people. They be like, <laughs> man, y'all making money? Shit, me. We be giving it, spending it just as quick as we get it. It come with a price, man. It definitely come with a price. Man, I feel you, man. So anonymous, man. Yeah. Super ego's in the wind, bro. Super ego is in the wind, yeah. man. So let me before we talk about what what you just sent me. So just last week, I was on the night or the 8094 in Illinois, mm-hmm. going through that little corridor right there, which is which is very very truck heavy. Like it is super heavy, especially during rush hour. So I'm minding my business, bopping to my music and all like that because the the new company that I'm driving for, they got drive cameras in their in their trucks now, and and there's no way around it. And I know a lot of people are gonna be like, "Whoa, new company." Yes, I said it. New company. You know what I'm saying. It sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, so, sometimes you have to make the you have to make the hard decisions to 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 make what's right in your life right now it was it was okay for the moment but things change attitudes change criteria change so for me as 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 the driver if i see if i see changes and unfortunately i adapt to the changes when i was there but these kind of changes, I just couldn't adapt to, and it it, it it was time for me to move on. But the new company that I'm driving for right now, unfortunately, they got the they got the driver eye camera in their truck, the new the same camera system that Prime just installed in their trucks, and it's not a big deal to me. I drove trucks with cameras in the trucks before, but being that this is AI, you you pretty much got to be on your p's and q's and i gotta admit i gotta admit man I, I i gotta admit since since i've been driving with this company man i i i feel like i became a better driver because i'm 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 constantly more focused on what i'm what i'm doing out here and i i I might want i might want to say it's because of the camera because big brother is watching but but Considering the fact that the company that I'm driving for is safety heavy, or coming from a company that was money heavy, I'm just going to say that. But this company right here is, is is safety heavy. Like, if I get tired, I could pull over. I don't have to worry about rushing to the delivery. I don't have to use my PC when I run out of hours and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So... It's a little bit more, a little bit more comfortable. I make a little bit more money than what I was making over there too. So let me just throw that in there. So, I, so sometimes you gotta, sometimes you gotta take the good with the bad and the bad with the good and make it in what you want. But uh, back to the story. Sorry to get off track, but back to the story. So I'm down eighty ninety four, and Super Eagle truck comes past me. I'm, I'm making a long story short. So Super Eagle truck comes past me. A couple of other trucks come past me and stuff like that. And then off in the distance, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna refer back to the driver camera because this this keeps track of the following distance of the truck. The truck has like a four second, technically six or seven. It's supposed to be perfect, but sometimes you can't do that, especially on 8090 traffic. But I I try to keep at least a four second following distance. But up ahead, I see everybody jack stopping. I've seen like the one truck literally goes off to the side so that he won't hit the truck in front of him. I'm like, what the, f- whoa, 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 what, what just, what just happened? Now, mind you, back maybe about five, ten spaces back, 
I saw a motorcycle dude. I seen a dude on a motorcycle cutting in and out of traffic. So I'm like, okay. But then when I seen all that stuff that happened up front, it's like, what the what the hell? Boy, I, I, I came up close to it, and I seen Super Eagle hit the dude on the bike, bro. company what it was you know they I, got a bunch of well companies. i well i i couldn't i i couldn't see and with the new right. technology right. that we got going on i couldn't do much but i i did so my my dash cam did caught the action which people will see as we're talking but uh, but yeah i'm i'm not sure the company but it it was a super ego trailer and and the dude when i rode past wow. slow the, the the guy on the bike is laying out in front of the truck and uh, yeah it was it was it was pretty bad man it it was pretty bad a couple of other trucks rear-ended each other like that and, and yeah. it goes back to the the following distance and what I'm trying to get a little bit better at because I I, I don't I I I don't tr I don't trail too close on 8090 anyway or 8094 anyway right. because I know. I, I, they, they be cutting in, they be cutting out, they be taking my following distance, they be doing it all. So I, the, I, I know the drivers behind me is pissed off because every time somebody cut me off, I break. I don't break hard, but yeah, I, 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 I break. Though. Yeah, so I can get my distance back. But, but yeah, man, that's that's the situation that that happened over over last week. But uh, but but That's super crazy. ego super ego is back in the in the situation again of uh, losing one of their LLCs and you said uh, their try time LLC is it's a done deal, bro. Well, what, what what happened with that? Shoot, just what you talking about? Basically, them accident. That's why I said I, I couldn't catch what company it was, but they um they got a new LLC yeah. called. People need to look out for one called Enlight Enlighten Logistics. They just started this shit a couple of weeks ago. Um, nine times out of ten, that that try time number is dead already, and they just brought that out. Try time ain't been around what six, seven months, maybe not even a year. They just brought that out, so that yeah, that shit. What's going on with them is you know these name changes, the MC numbers, and this shit like you spoke about this accident. Been multiple you know stints been happening with them. And I don't know. I think eventually it's going. You know the flame gonna burn out with them can't keep ducking under different LLCs. It's like a drug dealer. Like we said before, they you can hop from address to address and eventually they're going to catch on. 
back on it. You ain't going to be able to get away with it. But accidents like that happening? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, man, I'm pretty sure the guy on the bike, and for him or his family, his people, oh, they from the studio. Whips off of them. Yeah, yeah. That, and that, you know, that new LLC that they got, drivers definitely need to just be on point because they're going to call around trying to recruit people under that. They'll call around to them, oh, we're in light logistics. Knowing they they really super ego, so yeah, that that enlightened probably will be around in a, a good five six months, and then they'll be getting in trouble and too many accidents happening with that. It is it's ridiculous. It's getting out of hand over there, man. It's getting out of hand. I, like I said, I stay recovering trailers around at home, so it's getting out of hand with them, man. Insurance, the guys. How anonymous, man? How are they? How are they still being afloat with all this with all these situations that's going on with them, man? I don't I'm 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 trying I'm I'm trying to to see, I'm trying to understand. I'm, I'm I guess I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt or whatever, man, but it's it's hard with, when you see all of this. Oh, now try time is gone, another one is gone, another one is gone. Yeah, accident yeah. after accident after accident. How is that feasible man you got people coming in every day leaving out two days later what what's what's up you got people over here reaching out to people let's uh, flip the script shout out to my girl tajay tajay woods make sure you guys go and subscribe to her on on youtube but she did a video on super ego maybe about a couple of maybe about a week or two back or something like that Interesting video, a lot of views on it. Super Ego always brings the views. I'm I'm not gonna cap. I, I could just say Super Ego in the title and automatically I could clickbait somebody with just Super Ego. I'm 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 just saying, but when y'all see me talk about Super Ego, I'm either talking about somebody that's been through it or the company themselves. So but they sent they sent the email to this young lady. And it, it kind of reminded me of the same email that they sent to me when they was looking for me to try to generate a positive outlook for the company as well. So her email reads, I hope this email finds you well. Firstly, we want to express our gratitude for your recent video regarding our company. We also managed to see other videos on your YouTube channel and we appreciate your work and will to be the person who indicates the challenges that exist in our industry. Your insights are incredibly valuable to us, and we truly value the time and effort you've taken to share your thoughts. This is the same verbiage that they sent to me, like years ago, when I when I started talking about Super Ego, when I made the call, when I made the very first call to Super Ego, uh, they reached out to me via Instagram and said, hey, we like what you're doing. Is it a way that we can collaborate and everything? So yeah, this this is like what they sent to me via Instagram and via email. All right, let's continue. It says, We understand that criticism, when constructive, is a crucial part of growth and improvement. It's through feedback like yours that we are able to identify areas where we can make positive changes to better serve our customers and community. You just now figuring that out? Like... People been talking about you guys for years, bro. Like, no, no, no judgment to my girl Tajay and none to me because that's how they that's how they rope us in. They looking for they looking for people like us to to provide positive feedback for for their company. That's how they was able to pay the one YouTuber to come down there to pretend that he's going to a basketball game. This is not a recruiting video. Me and Miguel are actually going to the Chicago Bulls game hanging out. Chicago Bulls game hanging out. And just so happened to pop up at a at a trucking company without without an invite. Yeah. So come on, we yeah, we, we don't yeah, do that. Never spoken about it again. Yeah, never exactly. yeah, and yeah, never spoken never spoken about it again. Let's continue. Your perspective is important to us, and we would like to hear more from you. Every experience and suggestion is helping us to understand how we can enhance our services and address any concerns you may have. If you're open to it, we would love to hear more from you. Please send us your opinion on how we could upgrade our business operations in more detail. Your input can play a significant role in shaping the future direction of our company, and we're eager to work together to implement meaningful improvements. Once again, thank you for taking the time to share your thoughts with us. We look forward to hearing from you and continuing this dialogue. Right. Sounds to me they want her to do more, quote unquote, positive feedback for the company. I told her in a comment, 
I told her in the comment, I was like, hey, oh, that's the same, same rope that they was giving me. And the amount that they was offering at the time for me to, to talk wasn't even all like that. And so, I heard how much they gave the other YouTuber and all like that, even though he wants to say that, say different, but I know better. I, I, I told her, I told her, look, if you're going to do any promotion, collaboration or anything with them, I said, don't do it for less than 20K. Yep, better get paid. Don't do it for get less paid. than 20K. Because it seems as though that that's that's the route that they're doing. They're looking for or they're looking for people to promote their company in a, in a good light, and they are willing to pay for it. They, they it ain't no it ain't no secret that they're willing to pay anybody yep. to promote their company in a positive light. What what's your thoughts about what's your thoughts about hearing all of that, man? And what what suggestion, if any, because you you rock out you. Rock out with Super Ego, but you you do it up under different circumstances. So, what's your suggestion for her? Well, to be real, I mean, I don't know if she's still with him or what. Or I don't think she she's not still with him. Is she? No, she's not with him. No, no, no. She's no. She works for a different a different company. She's she has a, she has an awesome YouTube page. I got I got to give it to her. Her her content is very good. She she does like news content, commentary content. She talks about different companies. She talks about different traits, different fields and stuff like that and she she has a couple of super ego posts on her on her channel. So, but no, she she's not she 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 don't drive for him and I let's stop. I would suggest that she don't. Uh -huh. I'm just saying. Uh -huh. But hey, again, no judgment. If you want to give them the benefit of the doubt, go ahead. Be be my guest. Well, don't don't let me stop you. But go ahead. Continue with your thought, man. <laughs> my question to you is: what, What's your suggestion as far as her working in collaboration with them, promoting the company through her channel? I wouldn't do it. Yeah, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. There's no way because they, they want you to promote a lot. They basically want you to, you know, a lot of people to bait people in and get people to come over there, you know. Um, they always, people always ask me when I got trailers on there, the ego trailer, they, oh, man, how's it come? I tell them, don't do it. One nine hundred. Oh, don't do it. Like, don't do it. You're going to regret it. Most people think that, man, but I want to give it a chance. I want to be a boss and all that. You can't. There's no, it's impossible. And yes, so she sent yeah, they sent the email knowing she never worked for him, doesn't work for him, don't want to work for him, and she, you know, gave her opinion and commentary on it. I wouldn't do it. I couldn't. Impossible. It's that's like you paying me under the table to say that I worked for you and you got this glorious company over there. It's fraud. It just goes to show you what type of individuals they are. They're willing to pay anybody. Uh, a soldier boy could have a YouTube channel and they could they could pay him to promote Super Eagle and he ain't never drove a truck in his life. Don't even got a CDL. And it, I mean, it's sad because if you're paying people to promote a lie, it says a lot about the company. It says a lot about the company. Like, you know, you, you want you to go out there and speak positive on us and give all this feedback. Who's, how, are, they, are you serious? I mean, hey, that guy that did the, the basketball game. And this is not a recruiting video. Me and Miguel are actually going to the Chicago Bulls game hanging out. When he went up there, he only done it one time. He's never spoken about it again. We didn't even see any type of videos of him at the basketball game. So, yeah, it's, I mean, that's a shame. That's a shame for them to even reach out to people and start praying on people like this. Well, they, that's like, again, they, they, they reached out to me several times. Mm -hmm. So, the very first time they reached out to me via email, and a couple of other times they reached out to me through the channel number. And the last few times they reached out to me via via Instagram. And they they will always they will always say the same exact thing. Like, hey, we we like your content. We like what you're doing over there. Yada yada yada. Blase, blase. And here can you collaborate with us? Can we get on the phone with you and 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 talk about our company culture and can we do this and can we do that? And I'm like, I'm I'm like, yo, y'all y'all willing to pay? If you if, if y'all willing to pay, let, let's talk about the money. You know what I'm saying? And and the money yeah. that they was talk the money that they was talking wasn't money. Because I, I, I asked them straight out. I was like, well, I heard I, I heard, I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm not gonna put it past y'all. That I heard upwards of, of 20k that was offered. Is is, is 
is is that is that offer on the table for me? Well, they came to me like they came to me like, well, no, we, we can offer you like five, six thousand. And even though, listen, listen, look what way? Five, six thousand ain't, ain't ain't nothing to sneeze at, bro. I mean, you know, five, six thousand. But but I was t- I, but I told them I was like, I mean, you 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 offered you offered this cat in the upwards of 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 twenty k. Now the video is not up no more. I don't see you know, if you're going to offer that. I, I want that because Super Ego, if you go back in the archives, in the archives, I was the one that made the call to you first. And that was like years ago when y'all was when y'all was like lightweight legit and wasn't doing the bullshit that y'all was doing right now. Y'all was looking for legitimate drivers. Y'all was saying that y'all y'all was saying y'all need about two two years of experience and all like that. And and it was some of the people, some of the drivers back in the day around that time was making money. I, I don't know what happened between then and now, but I'm just saying. Maybe maybe it's because y'all 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 dropped y'all criteria. Y'all y'all dropped y'all standards. Y'all went from looking for a driver for two years to now giving drivers that only have like four months and don't have no type of business experience to come in. And y'all just running through them. So again, I, I don't know what happened between then and now, but but now you guys is over here. The going rate that you guys offered for potential collaboration was 20K plus. So is you going to offer that to me? No. Oh, well, then, hey, yeah. And I they can hand over one of them raggedy trucks. They hand over one of them raggedy Bentleys they got over there for an interview. That's about it. Give them, they give them in the chain for an interview. <laughs> He's going right. It's death row. Yeah, Good. That, that's insane, man. Yeah, that's, that's I insane. agree. I mean, they they shouldn't be doing that. Like I said, I, if I'm not mistaken, that's like a form of bribery. You know, that's almost like bribing somebody to say, "Hey, man, you know, we doing great things over here." You know, and meanwhile, like the girl, she don't even ain't never drove for them, ain't never worked with them. She just know the horror stories and done her research and put a commentary up, and they trying to stop that. They like, hold on, we can collaborate. Why collaborate? I'm telling people the truth. What you want me to start telling people lies? Get yeah, yeah. everything up and erase the video? Yeah, yeah. Because as soon as you quote unquote sign any type of agreement, it's it's going to have a clause in there. It's definitely going to have a clause in there. Like yep. yeah, if you if anybody with negativity, you got to take uh-huh. the comments out, or if, or if anybody or you 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 can't talk to no more former ego drivers and all like that it's going to be some type of clause in there if you if if you're going to collaborate with them man and and i guess like you said i i guess that's why we haven't heard nothing else from old boy because if you go to if you go back to that one video he yeah. still have he still have the video up. You go back to that video. He he have over like 500 600 backlash of of comments in that video, <laughs> man. Like it is crazy how how that one video and it, it did well. Lots of views. The same thing with my video when I made the commentary on it. I I ain't do as many views as as he's doing right now, but it's still climbing, but yeah, the backlash of comments on yo, he he stopped replying. Same. He stopped replying and haven't even made an update video or nothing. Uh uh-uh, uh, he not, and that's the funny part because I always run across stuff you know on the on the feed on YouTube channel, and um, and he don't he doesn't have one thing to say about them Chicago companies no more. He's very quiet. You know, yeah, I've seen people comment, ask him stuff and everything, and he ain't going to respond. He, he know what he did, and he's responsible for misleading a lot of people to that direction over there. He basically told people it was a great company, and they got all this stuff going on, and now it's like, where are you? All the stuff that's going on is getting exposed. And um, he's been apparently, like, you know, he said it's a clause. He's been paid, and a little gag order over there. It's a gag order. He can't say nothing else. He better not. You know, he just violated. If he do, he might owe that money back. Because that's very, it's very interesting they came at her like that, though. And like you said, they came at you like that a while back. But I'm like, why would you do that when you know your company's corrupt as hell? Impossible. 
I think they missing out if you probably handle it the legal way. I know they don't want to struggle and go through the nonsense, but sometimes you might have to just to get to where you need to get to. But um, I think the ego really would be entitled to handing over a lot of them titles on them trucks, especially for people who've been there for a while and, you know, they've been screwed out of their money and their time and the way they handle business over there because just recovering their trailers and doing stuff for them, they a mess. There's something else to put up with. They don't want to pay for nothing. They don't want to answer the phone. And it's like, okay, I see why this guy probably abandoned his trailer. You, you guys don't even want to talk. Y'all just want somebody to go jump in the truck or deliver the load and get your money. And then on top of that, you know, they got that law. I think it's, I forget it. It's like 337C or something, but it's an owner operator law that, you know, by law, they got to show you the, the, the rate cons and all that. They don't even show these people the rate cons. So I can only imagine how much money that they're pocketing off of these drivers with these trucks, especially with some of them new trucks or whatever, they high payments. There's one guy I talked to, he was paying almost $900 a week for a 2019 uh, Cascadia that had over 700,000 miles on it. It, it just, it's ridiculous. And if I was her, I mean, you know, best thing to do is get that. <laughs> Well, when the first time they came to me, I gave it a lot of consideration and a lot of thoughts about it. But the first time they came to me and I started looking at it a little bit deeper, I was like, well, OK, if I start showing positivity to a company that I've been giving to a company on a channel that I've been giving a lot of drivers a lot of a, a lot of time to share their stories with this company, what that say about me? Right, exactly. That that was at that time, and the money again, the money that they was offering me wasn't wasn't worth it. But now in twenty twenty four, after finding out how much how much that they kicking out of the pocket for for people to talk great about the company, I I hear they giving away trucks, they giving away stuff and all like that. But but I I hear the going rate is like twenty k. Now if you want to come back to me and offer twenty k, hey, we we could talk. That's, yeah, I mean, shoot, k a lot of money. That's a lot of damn money. Oh, yeah, we could talk. That's a lot of money. But I'm not gonna sign no 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 gag order or waiver clause. I'm still gonna get, let the people want to come and talk about their experience. I'm gonna let them talk about it. But hey, if you want me to say hey, super ego, go over there. Y'all know how I feel about it. But if y'all want to go over there, go over there. No judgment. No, no judgment. Y'all giving y'all y'all giving super ego the benefit of the doubt anyway. And I, some of the guys in the comment session is like half of these people just going over there now just to go over there just to make content. That's about it. That's what somebody said yeah, in the in cool. the last video that that I, that I profiled that chick and all like that. And somebody commented in that video over here talking about man, she only went over there just to do content. That's about it. I was like, that's that's what it is, right? Thing. I believe it. People trying to get their views up. They trying to get their channel up because they you, you you know what you're walking into when you go over there. It's like stepping in to Putin's office and to the Kremlin. It's a lot of corruption, a lot of organized crime, and they not finna the play fair. They not finna the play fair because I, I got a buddy of mine that actually from California. He just uh, the guy he was with got audited or whatever. They shut his doors. The company wasn't running right. He was calling me, asking me about it. Talking about, man, I'm going to get a plane ticket and going up there. I said, bro, don't do it. And, you know, he in the SAP program. So I gave him a list of companies to call. I said, bro, call these people. Oh, no, I'm trying to be on our own operator. I said, my man, the best way to go to, about that, you might just want to go holler at Sweet Express. They hire SAP drivers and they got a lease purchase program. You got to put like five grand down or something. He was like, no, no, they got old trucks. I want something new. I'm like, bro, you should, you do not want to go over there to Ego and get no new truck. He said, oh, man, I'm a runner. I'm a runner. I know I know how to get it, you know. I run back and forth from Cali to the East Coast. I said, all right, shoot yourself. Not shoot yourself, shoot yourself. And that's basically what he's about to do. So I cannot wait to hear his response you when can't, it goes down. You, Anonymous, man, you, 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 you can't. You, you, you can't, man, because the young lady came on and she even said, verbatim out of her own mouth that she's seen the negative reviews she's seen the negative videos and she still mm -hmm. went over mm -hmm. there and and give them the benefit of the doubt yeah. she was happy she had a couple of she had the first truck it was pink or something like that and it was nice and then a video later that truck broke down and she had to get a, a, a piece of shit and then a video later she's out the door <laughs> go. <laughs> go. go. 
poof. Gave it a penny and went down. Yes. And that's when it was a wrap. So you, bro, no judgment to nobody if they want to go and mess with a controversial company, Super Eagle, man. I'm, I'm just saying. They, but I, I haven't, and I want to ask you this since you've been there. I haven't seen or heard any drivers that was successful with completing their lease and actually owning and becoming the owner operator of their own truck from that company. And at least I haven't. Well, what about you? Because like I said, you rock out with them. No. You... There's a guy there's a guy over there that um it's a black dude. I ain't gonna call his name, but he was doing videos on a while back. Um I think he ran yeah, he ran reefers. Now he's a recovery driver. He runs one of their little tow trucks. And I caught him in the yard one day when I was bringing a trailer back. I said, what are you doing driving over the truck? Oh, man, I, I gave him the truck back. Too many problems. You know, they don't want to repair it. They wanted me to stay. They just went on ahead and gave me a recovery job. I stay up here in Illinois now. I said, good grief. Like, man, are you serious? As long as you've been people. And he ran, he ran reefers. And he was like, yeah, you know, it just it came to a head with him. He wasn't making enough money. And when the truck break down, they don't want to fix it. He's sitting around waiting. He's a week or two in the hole. I was like, yeah, that's that's that goes. That people really need to see this, the real deal. Because I didn't want to record him and do nothing slick and, you know, without his consent, you know, post something. But I really wanted to record that. And I was like, damn, people need to hear this. You like kind of like the face of the company. Because he's from, he from overseas somewhere, I think, Africa or something. But he, I know he ran reefers for him. And I, I look at Lance. I said, yeah, it's only a matter of time. You know, want to want to know if he ain't done paying that truck off yet. And as long as he's been running reefers for them, big scam. You know, it, it, I've never ran into nobody that paid off. no. Deal. I've never seen nobody come up there and get a title and be like, hey, man, I'm finished. I can leave these folks. I can yank the name off this truck now and do my own thing. I've never seen it. To this day, I haven't. So, yeah, that's, that's. I mean, as far as the lease completion program, that's, that's the target question. They need to ask them, you know, especially when they come at the YouTubers. Well, hey, you know, we, we want to see uh, some documents and proof. Who, who you got over there that finished that lease program? Dude, they'll probably stop calling in. That phone won't ring no more. They, 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 they can't come up with one document of somebody with a title to one of them trucks over there. Man, dude, we, man, me, yeah, we, okay. we, we, we be getting it, bro. <laughs> Hey, man, got to put the real out there. Ooh. They got to, hey, my man, boy, I, he, can, he finna go over there. He's a fool. He finna, his, his ass literally finna go over there, man. He want to be an owner operator so bad. And he got a house in Cali. Just imagine the, his first few checks. He, his wife's going to tell him, man, if you don't get from out of there, he ain't going to be able to make it.